So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing functions in C. In the last video we have discussed function declaration in C, everything about function declaration with a proper program. In this video I will talk about function definition and function code with a proper program and I will show you practical also on my laptop. As well as you will see some important points about function declaration, function definition and function code. So this video will be really very helpful for you guys, right? If you are looking for a great career in software development, then you must think about the aspects like what's trending in the industry and the type of questions being asked in the interviews. How to improve your code chef ranking? What's the thought process behind the great applications like Flipkart, Amazon, uh, Zomato, Ola? So here an academy brings you a platform where you can watch live shows and the host of these shows are seven star coders on CodeChef. Companies like Amazon, Google, Flipkart and having years of experience. They'll be covering the content which would be really helpful for your career. Like in the live episodes, you can ask tech HRs about the you know, top 20 questions being asked and uh, you know uh, the industry leaders about the recruitment process in the startups and MNCs and how to apply for them, what's the eligibility criteria. You can also get your resume uh, reviewed by the experts. Not only this, you can also participate in mock interviews and you can learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, tech aspects of digital marketing and data analytics. And here is one more show where one of the India's leading DM experts will be coming live on weekly basis and teaching DM using practical tools and uh, projects. You will be taught all about digital marketing from level zero. So don't worry if you don't know anything about uh, digital marketing. See, we all know about the ads which are running on the popular apps like Instagram, YouTube, Amazon, Flipkart. But how these companies target the correct audience and convert their leads to sales. So in this show, you will get live projects and interactive episodes. So you can find out the detail of the show and the batch in the link that I'll put in the description box of this video. And don't forget to use my code JKL10 to get 10% extra discount on your paid subscription. So now let's take one example and discuss uh, function definition in C. The same example I'm taking that we have discussed in the previous video. So see this was the example that we have discussed in previous video, right? I'm taking a function named sum, right? In main function, I'm calling that function right and I have uh, you know asked you one question in the previous video like main is what in main so that is why main is user defined function it's not predefined function predefined functions are already defined in libraries like preprintf, scanf or string function you, you, we have used string cat, string compare these were uh, defined in header file string dot h. If you use any math function like square root sqrt then that is defined in math dot h. So you have to include that header file math dot h that was declared in that header file right and printf scanf are declared in stdio dot h standard input output clear screen get chr declared in conio dot h right but main is user defined function. So in main I am calling this function because control will also uh, control will always first go to the main function whenever you run the program. So here I am calling this function here now how function works when you call then function will search for the function definition right. So here we have function definition and now it is it is going to match function definition with function declaration. So here data return type is void name is same and no argument same. So now it is going to run right and whenever the control will reach to this curly braces closing braces it means now the control is going to return where here only because here I am calling this function right. So here if I ask you what is calling function and what is called function you will also uh, you know get to see these two terms. So here calling function is main because in main I am calling this function this is what we are calling sum and called function is what this sum this is what called function because we are calling this so main is calling function and sum is called function right you will also uh, get to see these two terms also when we discuss uh, functions I hope this is clear to you right now this is what function definition right so now see in general what we write in function definition we are writing return type so we will write what return type first of all then function name and in bracket 
if you want to pass any argument then you will write down here those list of arguments with their data type right so here you write the arguments with data types and in definition this will be function body right here what you will write some statements maybe you can say if you want to declare some local variables here you can declare those variables you will write some statements statement 1 2 3 and at last we will write return statement if you don't write but it is not necessary that in function body you have to write down all the three things but at least one i know uh, statement you have to write what this function is doing you can miss you can avoid this you can skip this return statement here i am not uh, uh, you know writing return anything because it is not returning anything right so that is optional local variables here i am declaring local variables and here these are some statements because there is no uh, no return statement here it is also possible you will not declare any local variable that is also possible and you will also you you can write down some logic and you can write down return statement that is also possible and you can also skip local variables declaration return statement and you can just write down the logic right so now you can say function definition uh, is having two parts this is what function header this line this is what function header and this is what in curly braces this is what function body so in function header what you have to write return type what type of value after processing it is going to return integer or a float or character void what type of value or pointer that is also possible function name and the arguments you are going to pass with their data types with their data types that is compulsory in void sorry in declaration what you write return type function name but here if you want to pass any you know argument then you will you can also write down the data types uh, means you can only write down data types you, it's not necessary to write down the name of the variable suppose here i want to pass two uh, variables so here you can write down int int both should be type int and semicolon it's not necessary to write int a int b the name of the variables but if you write that is also fine right and the difference between now this this with uh, the function definition you wrote if you want to pass then here suppose in calling also two arguments i want to pass suppose i am calling uh, passing 5 and 7 right so now obviously here also this and this should match so here also in bracket you will write down int data type as well as name of the arguments you can write down a int b this is compulsory here both data type and the name of the argument this is the difference between definition and a declaration and as well as the function body so here 5 would be stored in a and 7 would be stored in b so here no need to declare the local variables no need to ask these values this this you can skip only you can write down sum is equal to a plus b and here in sum is also a variable you are using so here only you can declare sum is equal to 0 so here we have 5 here we have 7 that would be 12 in sum we have 12 and once control reach to here because we are not uh, writing any return statement so once control would reach here it is going to return you can say it's void return so the answer would be 12 and after going to this line control will go back to here so here in main function if suppose after calling this you want to print like printf and hello so now first 12 would be printed now hello would be printed and now control will go to this means that end of the main and that's it exit from your program right so now i hope you can see the difference between declaration and definition and calling also here in calling we are not writing any return type you will you can you you just write the name of the function and if you want to pass the argument then those arguments that's it right here if you don't want to pass the value suppose here i am taking int x int y here i am taking int y is equal to uh, 5 and int x is equal to 7 semicolon semicolon right so now here you can write x comma y name of the argument also right or the value also 
but here no need to write down the data type of the arguments here no need to write down the name of the argument data type is compulsory if you want to pass if this is blank then that is fine here it's mandatory to write down both the data type and the name so i hope the difference is clear between these two function definition call and declaration right and one more thing declaration is always ended with semicolon calling is always ended with semicolon but after definition it's not like that you have to write down semicolon it will give error don't write down semicolon here don't put any semicolon after function definition right this is the next difference so i hope whenever i write something you can also you can also you can tell like this is function calling this is function declaration and this is function definition i'll give you some assignment also right so before that before that just want to tell you some important points about function definition first is function definition will, will not be ended with semicolon second is whenever after executing the function body whenever the control reach to the return statement then the control will go back to where where you are calling that function means here and if you don't write any return statement means this closing braces will act as a return it's void return means the void means nothing so it will act as void return and as soon as control will reach here will reach here now the the control will go back to where you are calling that function right and some important point about function declaration is what no need to specify here name of the parameter you are giving see i am using two terms parameter and argument right so parameters are what these in function declaration and function definition these are known as parameters means a b these are parameters and argument is what this when you are passing the actual value in the calling of the function at that time it is known as argument so here x y is are known as arguments in calling argument in declaration and definition it's parameter or parameter are also known as formal parameter arguments are also known as actual parameters these are actual parameter these are formal parameter here and here if you if you pass right so here it is not necessary to write down the name of the parameter but it is always necessary to you know specify the data type if you are passing parameter if you are not passing anything you have to don't you don't need to worry about that thing right because you are not passing anything you are not passing anything so just blank 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 you cannot write down here word only always end it with semicolon as well as if you write down here name suppose i am writing here int uh, int m int n but here i am writing int a and int b so it is not compulsory to write down the same name like a and a here and b and b here you can write down different different names of these parameters but what is compulsory that data type that should match like int 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 if i am writing here int float that should match order should match here also you you write int and here float if you write here float this side int this side that is not allowed so order should match like the type the data type of order of the data type should match but it is not necessary to match the name of the parameters here and here right and if you don't uh, specify the return type of this here at declaration part by default implicit declaration would be what it would be assumed that the data type is return type is integer if you don't specify void means compiler will implicitly assume that it is uh, it would return the data the return type of this is, uh, would be int right so better to specify the data type here always so now here is some assignment for you and if there is any error that also you have to identify and you can tell me in comment box right so i guess uh, practical of this thing the function definition we have taken same example so that we have discussed in the previous video already right in the next video we will see now that function calling means call by value as well as call by reference so that thing i'll show you practically right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care